I mean, huge differences here. I want to go over the tracks of both of these storms and explain kind of why Tampa Bay dodged a huge bullet this time. I mean, first of all, let's take a look at Helene's path, which was back on September 27th. It came 160 miles away from Tampa up the coastline, and it caused a seven foot storm surge inside Tampa Bay. And that's because, well, the winds were coming up and piling the water up along the coastline to the right of the track, right into Tampa Bay. And that's why we had that. Milton passed south of Tampa and that actually caused something called a negative storm surge. Now your winds are coming in from almost the opposite direction and kind of pulled the water out of Tampa Bay. There's a close up look at the uh, track of uh, Milton here just to the south of Tampa Bay. I want to superimpose the track from a few days ago when we thought that this might come up over Tampa Bay. That's why there was that dire forecast of 10 to 15 foot surge coming in. That 30 mile difference now did the exact opposite. It pushed the water out of Tampa Bay, and that's why we had a greater storm surge from Helene, which was 160 miles away from Tampa. Fascinating. We still have storm surge threats, though, in parts of Florida. We'll get into that at 530. Mm. Cindy, back to you. Just incredible. 30 miles making such a huge difference, AJ. Thank you.